Good morning. Welcome to Subramani. dot com. Today I am going to talk to you about tackling peer pressure in financial spending. And uh, so let me. All of us are under some kind of uh, peer pressure. The way we uh, project ourselves. So the um, greater peer pressure is foreign travel. Where did you go? Goa. Why didn't you see Egypt? The pyramids are very beautiful. That's great. But for a person who has not even seen Taj, uh, Egypt, what's the hurry? You you have to see all of India. I'm not saying you have to see whole of India and then see the foreign locales. But I have found people who would have made foreign trips, but wouldn't have made enough trips within India. So I'm not getting into all the moral part of it. But the question is, go and see what you want to see. Go and have fun. If you want to go to the beaches, India has some of the most beautiful beaches. and goa is not the only location with good beaches so are the good beaches in konark right so let me tell you what you see and what i see so i see a young doctor maybe 34 35 nice plush clinic fantastic so you walk in and you think wow here is a successful doctor right please understand becoming a doctor is an expensive proposition 5 years of education at the minimum after class 12 and then a break and then you do your ms you do your md or you do and you do your dm and between all that you have one year gaps so it's expensive so you're 32 then you have again pumped in a lot of money into the clinic you have bought it because there's a lot of plumbing required etc you're a dentist or an ophthalmologist then you spend money on equipment so what you see as a successful doctor what i see is a either an indulgent parent who has funded all this or a huge amount of student loans uh, loan for buying the property loan for buying all the equipment now what happens if your income goes to zero for 6 months it's happening right now during covid so be careful where you're spending what you're spending don't overspend right don't show off you don't need any of those things to start with maybe you need lesser stuff maybe you will slowly acquire things maybe you will put more of your own money and less of borrowed money so check out all that don't be in a hurry to show off you see you walk into a friend's house and you see a beautiful house well done interiors etc what i can see i can see a huge loan i can see a huge term insurance premium being paid i see lousy jobs i see husband and wife uh, getting very irritated with each other because of the financial pressures and if there are kids the kids are also under stress so understand all this it's not so simple to buy a house and things like that you need to put 50 60% of your own money then you buy a house because imagine you have a 90 lakh ctc can a person with 90 lakh ctc say i cannot live for more than 2 months without my next salary check Nine zero lakhs. Covid shut down four months. If he doesn't get salary, he has no clue what he will do. He just doesn't have enough money to pull over two months EMI, right? So I can see that portion, or some indulgent parent, or father-in-law, or my father, or somebody who has funded it. That's a different thing. Or really had the discipline. to a borrowed less and extremely well but uh, you know uh, invested well sold off some of those shares and bought an asset it's possible but normal cases people just borrow too much a fancy car the minute you drive out of your showroom the car depreciates have you earned it have you reached an age look at germany where you can't borrow for a car the expensive cars are always with the older people because you have to pay out for your car we have followed the american culture so i don't see very many people buying a car with a full check so it is always a part check and part bank loan and you're repaying that so literally living beyond your means so right don't get into a peer pressure to buy it you anyway enjoy driving you want a powerful car by all means have it don't buy a big and powerful car just to impress somebody else living up to the joneses has never been a good idea it gets even worse during difficult times like this when you're wondering can i get rid of one bedroom can i get rid of this car and the answer is no 
you cannot downsize very easily you need to even downsizing takes a lot of effort the uh, i was in a location for a vacation and uh, i found a wedding hall where the cost was 1 crore per day which means you took the hall on rent and it was 1 crore and that does not include the catering and things like that what do i see i see an indulgent father who's perhaps short for his own retirement and wanting to spend that kind of money on a wedding give me a break if you have if you have the kind of net wealth of uh, net worth of uh, mukesh ambani spending 700 crores is fine but when you have only 5 crores and you've not provided enough for your retirement you cannot afford to spend 50 lakhs or a crore on a wedding you need to cut down you need to downsize don't try spending to show off to somebody if that is exactly what you want that's great be my guest do it but don't buy things which you do not need with money which you do not have to impress people who do not care to be employed under a boss whom you do not like get into a vicious circle right don't do it it's not worth it thank you